Ah, the sun. It'll outlive us all. But how can we convert that energy into energy that we can use at home? Very simple. Here you can see solar panels on a roof. All these solar panels are connected in parallel so that their amperage is additive. Now, if we look closer, we'll see the connections that are made to create this. To create something in parallel, connect the red, the positive, with the positive for every single solar panel. Also do the same for the black connections, the negative. Connect all the negative connections together. Do this for every single solar panel. Making good space of your roof is key. To avoid solar panels from falling off the roof, what I've done is I've made a little rack. This is actually just wood screwed onto the roof. The wires are underneath a half cut copper tube that is screwed onto the wood and into the roof. The sun at sunrise will start at that position. At 12 o'clock lunchtime at noon it'll be straight up above. And finally at sunset it'll be over there. So when the sun rises, it will rise up at that exact location, at which point all the solar panels will start generating electricity. Then all of that power is combined into just two wires that lead to the very bottom of the house. And at the bottom of the house, we have batteries, and that is where the energy is stored. Then, all the power goes down from the top of the roof, and goes from that controller to the batteries. These batteries are Optima batteries. These are quite possibly one of the most expensive batteries, but they are the best for this use. Notice also how they're connected. That's the positive with the positive, positive with the positive, and then negative with the negative, with the negative, with more batteries in here. The solar panels also are connected in the same way to the batteries. So this is the positive. It's connected with the positive right there. This is the negative. It's connected into the negative terminals of the batteries right here. When you have all the batteries connected together like this, you create one giant battery bank. For our energy capacity storage, we have five batteries. These are all pretty much different batteries, but they're probably the best batteries to get. Over here we have the regular marine deep cycle lead acid batteries. Uh, these I got from uh, an auto parts store. And this one here, I got from Walmart for about 80 bucks, so it's a good deal. Now these two yellow ones, they cost about $200 each, but they're probably the best batteries you can buy. And the red one's about half as much, but these are probably the best you can get if you got the money. Combined together, I would estimate that these have about 350 amp hours. So it's definitely more than enough to... Uh, lasts you throughout the whole night if you have plenty of solar power available and once again these are all connected in parallel connections 
So we have the positive right here connected to the positive, to the positive, to the positive, to the positive, and the negative, to the negative, to the negative, to the negative, to the negative right there. When you connect these batteries in this fashion, what happens is that you keep it at 12 volts, but the storage is added on from battery to battery. This is probably the best way because most inverters require 12 volts. This is a 750 watt inverter and it is 12 volts in, 112 volts out. It's also a good idea to buy a box like this so you can put lead acid batteries inside. This prevents any water from entering the batteries and damaging the batteries. Now here's my computer. It, right now it is connected directly to solar power energy. I'll show you just a minute how that is done. As you can see, it is charging. So right now it's 47% and it is charging. The little charge light is right there. It's connected with the AC adapter, which goes through here. right there and then it is connected to the power inverter. Now this power inverter is good for 750 watts, 1,500 watts peak. If you're like me where you have lots of computers, this should be enough to do pretty much all your computer needs. And then this power is then sent from here with an extension cable to my house for the internet, the router, and any other peripherals that I need on. This power inverter is connected directly to the batteries and what it is doing right now, it is converting direct current into actual current. So it is converting 12 volts to household 110 volts. So every day I get to use my computer for free without any power being wasted. It's 100% entirely renewable energy and this technology is available today. Anybody can do this and at the same time you save yourself a lot of money in electricity if you like to use computers a lot and you also save the world by being more green. Thank you very much. Have a good day.